Hey everybody, welcome to That's Good Broncos! I'm Brandon Perna, and today, yeah, I've got some pretty fucking good news. The Broncos have signed Pro Bowl left guard Evan Mathis from the Philadelphia Eagles. Looks like our offensive line just got a whole lot better. <laughs> and our Super Bowl chances went up. Broncos have also cut kicker Connor Barth. More on that as we get started here on That's Good Broncos. The Denver Broncos made a serious move on Tuesday afternoon to improve their chances of winning a Super Bowl by adding veteran Pro Bowl guard Evan Mathis to protect the master and commander Peyton Manning. Mathis was the best available offensive lineman on the free agent market, where he's been patiently waiting since Philadelphia cut him in June due to a contract dispute. The only knock on Mathis, besides his split ends, is that he's had some injury issues throughout his career. Most notably, Mathis missed the first nine weeks of last season with the sprained MCL he suffered during week one. The good news is he finished the season strong, like his beard would suggest, and had excellent performance grades in weeks 10 through 17, where he started every game to finish the season. Mathis is a good pass blocker and an unyielding run blocker who was partially convinced to come to Denver to play in the zone blocking system. Besides being an elite Pro Bowl caliber guard, this is why you, a good-looking Broncos fan should be excited about Evan Mathis. He specifically chose to come play in Denver for less money than he would have made somewhere else because he wanted to play for a contender. That is exactly the type of guy the Broncos need on their offensive line. The dude wants to win, and I believe with him on the roster, that's exactly what the Broncos will be doing all season long. Winning games. Winning games. Thank you, Evan Mathis, for helping us win some games. <clears throat> I hope he never sees that. This will also give the Broncos' current left guard, Max Garcia, time to develop. Garcia will get to learn from one of the best in the game and will no longer have a giant weight on his shoulders. Unless, of course, Sylvester Williams decides to sit on him again as part of the rookie hazing process. It's also worth noting that Garcia wasn't playing that bad at left guard. His performance after two games was average. So if for some reason he has to come in for Evan Mathis during the season, he can get the job done. It's also worth noting that Evan Mathis will take the number 69, which formerly belonged to Sione Fua, Al Pacino. John Elway and Gary Kubiak also decided it was probably best if they cut Barth Vader this morning. Just like when Darth Vader cut off Luke's hand and the Empire Strikes Back. If you think about it, Brandon McManus is the young Luke Skywalker, and this season is Return of the Jedi. Last season in The Empire Strikes Back, Barth Vader came in and cut off Luke's field goal kicking foot. But now McManus has a new mechanical step, which he attributes his current accuracy to, and will be the man leading the Broncos to victory this season. Everything about that terrible Star Wars laced kickoff metaphor is true, except the idea that McManus will lead the team. We all know that's Peyton Manning, aka Han Solo's job. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Broncos. Make sure you subscribe here to my channel, and if you feel like supporting me, there's a support button somewhere on this page. Click it, and you can give me money. It's just real easy. And if you're poor, don't worry about it. Because we'll, we'll just stay poor together. Also, for more of my videos, go check out themilehighhuddle.com. Evan Mathis, nice signing, Mr. Railway. There you go again. Flopping it on the table. Showing the NFL who's got the biggest one. Big dick player, John.